I was, uh, I was just wandering around and just saw this absolutely beautiful, not that man there. Uh, it's me, it's me. Absolutely beautiful Jag. And uh, Paul is going to tell us more about it. Hi, Paul. Hi, hi. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, very well, thank you. So, um, yeah, I, you know, this is such an amazing looking vehicle and noticed it was obviously electric. So, uh, yeah, something a bit, a bit of me. A bit different. Yeah, no, for sure. And um, the business, this is your first EV, is that right? This is our first EV, yeah. We are a Jaguar and Bentley restoration company. Yep. And um, we service and restore all different marks, but mainly sort of specialising towards E-types. Um, and an existing customer of ours sort of gave us the tasks of would you fancy building me an electric E-type? So, and here it is. Yeah, it is yeah. Wow. He let, he let you borrow it then? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Yeah, so let's use it. Let's just bring it to a couple of shows. Yep. Um, he, he, he tasked us with finding car. It had to be this colour originally. Yeah. It needed to be an original UK Series 1 E-type. Um, and he said, let's, let's go electric. And so, I did notice uh, after reading a little bit of the blurb that it is fully uh, reversible as yes, well. Yes. So we want to make sure that we haven't cut anything around. We haven't changed any part of the structure of the body. Yeah. We've drilled no extra holes anywhere. Uh, well, the only modification is the small bit for where the charger goes in the original fuel flap. Right. It's the only bit we've had to change. Yeah. So everything bolts to the original engine mountings or gearbox mountings. Okay. And I'm quite good to see that the service disconnects there. And yes. um, and the batteries, whereabouts are the batteries so in the car? We've got the front here, we've got five batteries. Okay. Um, we're running Tesla Model S batteries. Okay. In this. So we've got five in the front. We've got another five over the rear axle uh, in the boot there. Um, there's five hidden just behind this. And what are the battery box is made of? Um, they're all steel. Yep. Um, we've had those uh, CNC folded. Um, everything fits in nice on little shelves. It all fits nice and snug. Is it water cooled as well, or is uh, it? Yes, the batteries are water cooled. And the motors are air cooled. Okay. Um, the motors and the controllers are just air cooled. And uh, you mentioned, is it the you've got two Hyper Nines? Two Hyper Nines, yes. One running in front of the other, direct drive. Yep. Straight onto the rear axle. We've changed the ratio in the diff. Right. And we've we've upped that so that we've got a sort of better acceleration. So the two Hyper Nines connected straight to the prop. Straight to the prop shaft. And straight then to the drive. The okay. Drive, yeah. Fair enough. I bet it goes well with yes. two Hyper Nines. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The, the, the task the customer set us is I didn't want anything crazy fast. Yeah. Um, it still needed to feel as much like an E-type as possible. So we've got it tuned, so it just feels like a very quick E-type, really. And I love the fact that you've uh, you've kept the gear knob in here as well, yeah, which so although it's um, it's only as a directional switch, um, we wanted to maintain the, the, the sort of the styling inside the piece. As, as you were looking at it, you wouldn't really know. No. If the bonnet was open, you'd never know. And I noticed there's a, a KW on the uh, yeah, uh, speedo yeah. there, but. And then all of the, the centre gauges have all been repurposed so that they will, the fuel gauge is now the, how many volts you've got left. Yeah, oh yeah, I've got um, that. And then your, your oil gauge is your motor temperature, water is your battery temperature. Oh, I wish it. Nice. And uh, what sort of, uh, what's the total kilowatt hour of this car? Uh, it's, a, it's a 200 kilowatt motor, the batteries are 50 kilowatt hours. Okay, and range wise i mean what what have um, you been averaging well to be honest we've not done a massive because it's only finished it a couple of weeks ago oh wow so we're still in, fresh still in, yeah we're still in sort of testing mode at the minute well it looks um, fresh i mean it yeah, looks absolutely gorgeous you know um, we're, we're thinking around about the 150 to 180 mile range that's decent yeah awesome no it looks and absolutely stunning yeah, and uh, yeah it's i bet no, i bet and um yeah, I'm just trying to think uh, what else th everyone would like to know about the vehicle. Um, what uh, it, I think I did see in the blurb that you've got a couple of other versions that you can do, or there's yes. another version so you the do? Next, the next one we're doing, which is a fixed head, um, we're actually running that at a higher voltage with a different motor, so we're going to have rapid charging. Oh, wicked. That. So that's going to be, um, that's, there's two motors we've not quite decided which one to go for yet, so right. I'm not going to say which one we'll choose. I was just about to ask the yeah. question, so you sport that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a 400 volt system. Wow, yeah. Whereas this is 120 volts. Yeah, it does seem to be the way to go. Yes, um, yeah. yeah, that's. I didn't think I was going to go for rapid charging on my TVR conversion, but well, I think it's got to be the way. To, yeah, being able to pull over, grab a sandwich and a drink, and then yeah. you've got another 150 miles quite appealing, really. No, definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's, that's the option on the uh, on the next one. And with regards to the brakes, uh, is it servo? Uh, yeah, we've got a little vacuum pump. Yeah. So the, We've got Series 2E type master cylinder inside. Yeah. Um, it's running through a servo. 
and then we've got aluminium four pot calipers on the front. I did notice the calipers were yes. looking pretty sexy under there. Yeah, it makes a, makes a big difference We're running vented discs now and it's just a small little vacuum pump to give the assisted brakes. And is it assisted steering as well? Yes, it's got electric power steering as well. Um, and then the, obviously we've got the adjustability for the region on the braking as well. Oh, awesome. And um, any, any air conditioning as such? Uh, not on this one. Um, we, we, we yeah, the roof here. down, that's it. Yeah, got, <laughs> no, really no, uh, for sure. We've got sure. electric, electric heater. So where the heat exchanger would have been, we've yeah. got a small little electric element right. heating. Nice. That we works really well. Yes, we have. We can. In the fixed ed, we are going to put air conditioning on. Yeah, Ralph, who's doing the build on mine, he was saying that there's so many different new uh, air conditioning units, which are very small, that are coming yes. in now. Yeah. So, but no, it's absolutely amazing. Who does the uh, who does the body work? Because the we do. Everything's, in everything's all in house. The only thing we don't do is the paint work. No, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the, we wanted to keep it as from the outside as standard as possible. Yeah. So we didn't want to change anything really. I mean, we've got LED lighting throughout. Yeah. Um, but in terms of sort of how it looks, it's completely stuck on the outside, minus the exhausts. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no fake uh, exhaust noises or anything no, like that. No. Don't yeah, want to spoil it. Um, <laughs> Whereabouts are you guys based? Uh, we're based in, in, right in the Midlands in a little village called Alveston. Super. Well, it's great to meet you both, yeah, and uh, I yeah wish you luck with the uh, with the business. I'm sure you do well because it's absolutely stunning. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to tag on the socials any EV conversion or modified EV stuff that you see or you've got yourself. I've just been talking to Fletch and this was the 2022 best Model X at the Supercharged show. Uh, it's a 75D, it's been wrapped in a metallic, uh, sorry, metallic, matte black. Uh, he's added uh, some 22 inch wheels to it. It's pretty cool, although they're upside down. Uh, Tesla wheel caps. Um, obviously that plate's not illegal, he takes it off while driving. I did actually see him coming in actually, and it does look awesome. A bit uh, Batman-esque, with the, especially with the uh, Model X doors. My daughter Monica really wants me to get a Model X, obviously, because it has the wings, which I can't blame her. Uh, but yeah, so he's had the wrap done, upgraded wheels, and he's had the, uh, the um, uh, screen upgraded as well, which I didn't know was an upgrade. So yeah, looks awesome. Absolutely epic, so, uh, so yeah. That's what a 2022 winning Tesla Model X looks like. So we're inside the Gaydon British Museum and just come across this little electric car. Think, is that it? I've definitely seen one of these before. I thought it would be cool just to uh, check it out. And there's some really cool older vehicles inside the museum as well. So I thought I'd, I'd come in mainly because it's really sunny and I'm burning, uh, which is also another reason. A little bit of uh, Dell's, Del Boy, uh, Del Boy's car. Another one. Oh, look at that. The leopard skin seats. Now, I would love to find out if anyone's doing a Capri EV conversion, because I think that would be an awesome conversion to do. Oh, look. I know that uh, Moggy has done a conversion on this and a few other companies have as well. Uh, some pretty cool cars in here. Oh, look, it's a TVR. Awesome. With... Uh, I'm trying to think what this is, other than being a Tuscan. What makes this one special? T400R, Le Mans racing car. Awesome, 200 mile an hour, top speed, 400 brake. That is super cool. Gas turbine Le Mans racing car. I mean, if you're into your cars, you would love it here. I'm advertising British Motors Museum. And I don't care, because it's well worth a visit. Look at this, MG prototype. Super cool. Looks a bit like an NSX. But look at this. Ooh, baby. Right, I must go out and see the electric cars before I leave. <laughs> stop, getting, stop getting distracted by the classics. Look at that Vauxhall. Ah, oh, cool. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad I'm electrifying a, a British car. 
Even the buses are getting involved. This is an electric car you don't see very often. There's not many of these around. Um, Renault Fluence. Um, a little while ago, I did see a couple of these up for about, well, I say a couple, there was one, up for about three, four grand, but it had issues with it. I know uh, one of the EV conversion uh, chaps that I speak to, um, he was actually trying to fix it or taking it apart because there are some good bits to be had in here because it's essentially Renault Zoe EV bits. But yeah, the Renault Fluence, if you haven't seen one before. So it's great to see Cleveland EV have actually uh, made a show uh, and they've uh, come in their MG5 electric uh, kind of uh, van slash uh, utility vehicle because uh, James goes around uh, along with a couple of the members from the company uh, servicing vehicles. Um, I'm guessing it, I don't even know if they have a frunk, but obviously they've made use of uh, the space in the front there, put some discs and stuff in. But I mean, the MG5 is probably one of, if not the best value electric car out there for range. Yes, it's not got the best quality. It's not German made or anything, but they are, they do come with a hell of a lot of stuff standard. Um, and if it's an A to B car you want and uh, best value it is great for that. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how much stuff that they get in here. So much stuff. It's pretty impressive, really. Hi, James. <laughs> yeah, good mate. Right, yeah, so uh, let's go and see what else we can find. Ooh, is that Ukraine? Great to see EV Equip are here in their i3. It's been modified. He's recently done the springs, got the upgraded wheels. They're quite thin, the wheels. You can actually see, it's obviously for um, efficiency. Uh, you've got a bottom splitter. Maxton designed one on there as well. So that's the EV Equip. EK. They do VW bits as well. Let's see, we've got the bottom side skirts and a nice little spoiler on the back here as well. Which looks quite smart. Hello, doggy. Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's pretty, pretty neat, that. No, it's good to see some, some bits of kit to be done on these. I think if it was me, I'd probably wrap... Oh, look, he's... He has, he's thought ahead. He's wrapped this bit here to take out the weird side profile. How does it look? Yeah, kind of, kind of works actually. Kind of works. Or just have the car all in black and then you can't see the side profile. Not a massive fan of that, but there we go. Looking good. I'm sorry to say that unfortunately some of my footage got uh, destroyed while I was downloading it for some unknown reason, different SD card I was using. So massive apologies to uh, people that I did want to feature in the video, which were a couple of test model threes that have been modified, uh, a couple of great guys that I met right at the beginning of the show. But it was a great event and hopefully we'll bump into each other again sometime soon. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the next video. Um, thanks for